my pilgrimages ragi guda anjaneya temple written by madan mohan tarun read by madan mohan tarun this was the first temple i visited in bangalore it is situated at jp nagar phase 2 before visiting this temple on 8 8 january 2011 i wanted to gather some details about it from the internet but it was not so helpful only a few lines were available which was not enough to give a clear view of the temple i am more interested in historical details human skill and artistry or some special concept involved in any architecture or the structure many of the temples don't allow taking photographs of the images so that it can be analyzed later ragi guda is combination of two kannad words ragi means finger millet a particular grain and guda means hill so ragi guda as a whole means a hill of finger millet as it is believed there was a huge heap of ragi there was a huge heap of ragi collected exactly at the place where the hillock is situated once lord hanuman touched the heap out of fun and it turned into a hillock thus it is known as ragi goda this hill is the product of leela a dramatic deed of a deity bajrangvali son of anjani known as anjaneya his temple stands at the top of the hill there is a speciality in the image of anjaneya here in general all the main images of god look straight facing the front here the face of anjaneya is turned towards the right side direction of the temple his image does not sees the devotees coming to the temple the standing image of anjaneya is shown putting all his concentration on the image of lord sri ram whose temple adjoins the anjaneya's temple at the right side the charming image of hanuman placed here is attractive his face is shining black with his lips and chin deep brown in color he holds a club in one hand and carries mountain on the other palm
Juice of Tulsi is served here at Panchamrit to the visitors. Roaming monkeys in big number around the temple make the surrounding more lively. Generally, they do not disturb visitors. They are more interested in eatables offered by the deities. There is also a small temple of Lord Shiva, Shiva his ling, and Nandi here. The top of the temple wall is decorated with images of several other deities. The dome of the temple gives attractive look. Carving of the huge Garuda image with its huge spread feathers at the top of Hanuman Dhara facing the gate of the temple adds more attraction to it. The hill is not very high. The steel steps make climbing easier. There is a temple of Lord Ganesha at the bottom of the hill. Devotees start their upward journey after visiting this temple. There is an open temple of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh in the same complex. There is, an op when you cross the main gate of the temple towards inside, you find a big board directing towards this temple. All three huge engravings are done on huge rocks. They are all in a standing position. The surrounding gives jungle-like appearance. The small images of Lord Ganesha, Durga, Shiva and some other deities are placed here and there. In the rocky bushes, thick greenery is well maintained around this temple. 